my name is Randy Hanner. I'm the e-commerce and social media manager for Front Range Anglers, and today I'm going to be tying a traditional Frenchie. So today I'm going to be tying a traditional Frenchie um, on a jig hook, and the hook that I am using is Umqua C450. Um, you could also use a Umqua C400 um, or a Tiemco 403. Um, or even a standard nymph hook like a 3761 TMCO or a 3769 TMCO. Um, any of those will work. I'm using a slotted tungsten gold bead to match the size of the hook. In this case, I'm using a, uh, a 2.5 millimeter bead. And um, the thread I'm going to be using is an 8 dot uni thread in dark brown or black. And uh, for the tail, I'm going to be using Coque de Leon. It doesn't matter the color. Um, I just like the, the variegation. And it's a lot more durable than using, a, using the pheasant tail tips for the, for the tail. So I'll go ahead and tie in this Coque de Leon. Get my tail length correct. I want it to be about half the size of the hook half the length of the, the hook shank anyway. For the rib, I'm gonna be using um, small gold wire. I'm tying it in the full length of the body and on the side of the body. I don't want the fly to be thick, I would rather it be wide. So I'm just going to use some natural pheasant tail fibers for the uh, for the body for this. I'm only t pulling uh, three or four um, fibers off of the stem. You don't need very many. You want this fly to be pretty thin so it sinks faster. So I'm going to just tie those in by the tips. Wrap right back to the tail. And then kind of build up the the body just a little bit so that way it's a in a cone shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, cement to the uh, the shank of the hook to reinforce that pheasant tail. Pheasant tail is a pretty brittle, uh, not very durable material to tie with, so any reinforcement you can do is is better. And so having that on there will just help lock that lock that right into place. And I'll just wrap this forward. To right behind the eye or I'll catch it with my thread. Trim off those excess pieces right there. Then I'll counter rib the wire and then lock it off right behind the bead you could actually just tie the fly off and finish it here you don't even need to add peacock or anything for a traditional pheasant tail um, but I'm tying it off uh, with the black or tying it off right there so that way I can come in and, and cut these fibers away but I'm going to use um, some Vivis ADOT hot orange thread for the, the hot spot and I didn't want to tie the whole fly with this because it's a little too thick for this small of a hook and what I'll do is I'll add just a touch of super glue right before I whip finish That way all of these fibers of the thread lock into place and then you don't have to use head cement at the end. One whip finish and you're good. And that is a traditional Frenchie.